didn't know where you were. Hi. Why didn't you wake me up? Hey, watch it, honey. I don't like getting up alone. Well, I thought maybe you should sleep in. Besides, I've got to go over to the hospital early. Early? You know, you spend half your life over there. I bet you don't have to be there for about another hour and a half. Right, but I want to go look in on Angel Nieves, see if there's any change. You don't have to do that. You're off the case now. I'm very well aware of that, Dee. Well, you don't have that responsibility, am I right? No, you're not right. If Angel's anybody's responsibility, it's mine. The condition he's in is all my fault. Yeah, well, that's why you're not supposed to be there. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Look, let me get you something. No, it's it. okay. I got it. Well, you see, did you hurt yourself? No. Patty, because you're rushing around. You don't have to be at the hospital now. Look, I don't want to argue about it. I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy either. So all I want to do is make you a nice big breakfast with all the things that you love. How about some coffee cake? You know, the kind with the raisins and the sticky stuff on top? And I can fix eggs anyway you like them. Well, I appreciate all that, honey, but I really got to get out of here. Well, why don't you just cut me a piece of that coffee cake? Well, I can't, because it's frozen. So I figured I could stick it in the oven uh, while I was making the eggs. Look, I'm not going to see you for days, so am I asking too much? Can we just sit and talk, eat breakfast? I keep trying to make you understand how many times... Look, I'm a doctor. My patients come first. First? Yeah, first. They come ahead of your wife. Yeah, I believe you. You've made that very clear to me all the time. Only Angel Nieves isn't your patient anymore. His sister doesn't even want you on the case. So if you treat me like this, I can imagine the way that you treat your patient. If you don't, if you refuse to understand, then there's not much I can do about it, is there? I'm sorry about breakfast. Yeah, you know what I understand? I understand that you care more about that kid and more about Alicia than you care about me. So what can I do to help you? You just tell me. What can I do to help? I really can't take this at this hour of the morning. I don't even know how this started. Why don't you just go back to bed? We'll talk about it when I get off duty. No. When's that going to be? Next month? Next year? I can't stand it anymore. I'm trying to do everything I can. I want to be a wonderful wife to you, so I read all those books. Maybe you do too much. No, I think you do too much, and you do too much for everybody except me. I'm scared. I, I love it. It's just... It just seems to be, to be going away. You don't love me like you used to. And last night, it was like you were performing some kind of duty or something. That's not true. I thought that you needed me, but you don't need me. You don't need me, and you don't want me. And that's not true either, Dee. See Father McShane. I needed to talk to someone about Patrick's troubles. Did he offer any advice? Oh, how could he? But he was very confident, nevertheless. He said he was going to say a special mass for the Nevis boy. Well, I hope he puts in a few words for Patrick himself. He's going to be needing all the help he can get. I'm afraid the help is going to have to come from higher up. There's not much any of us can do. Except show him we love him and believe in him. <laughs> Where have I heard that one? My mother says it all the time. Maybe a more uh, active, practical course would be to poison Delia. Mary, don't even say that as a joke. You know this is all her fault, really. Well, I don't believe that Patrick would have allowed that. Oh, of course not. I've got to agree, though, that she isn't making the most understanding doctor's wife. Which is not exactly a surprise. I'm sorry. I don't mean to say it to hold her so. Apparently, she is trying in her way. Which, of course, is the worst way possible. Meaning what? Has she done something else? 
She went to see Jack last night. Jack? Well, she told him that um, since he'd once gotten Pat into trouble with his column, she saw no reason why he shouldn't use his column to get Pat out. Merciful heaven, what did Jack say to that? Well, I wish I knew. Or I wish I could believe her, or not believe her, or something. Darling, you aren't making a whole lot of sense. What is it? But Lydia said that Jack wasn't himself. Of course, how would she know? She doesn't have the slightest notion of what he's about. I had the feeling that you were troubled by something other than Patrick. What exactly did she say now? Well, that he hadn't shaved, that the place was a mess. That much I'd expect. That he'd obviously been drinking. Oh, dear God, I hope he hasn't fallen to that way of dealing with his pain. Well, according to Dee, he wasn't exactly drunk. He was disoriented, she said, and vague. Do you think he could be sick, Ma? Maybe some delayed effect of the surgery or some kind of emotional reaction to everything? I hate to think it, but he's awfully alone and isolated down there. And he never asked us for any help, you know that. I called Jumbo last night to ask him to look in on him, but he's in New Jersey on union business. And you're wondering whether you should go down there, huh? Well, I could phone him. But you know he'd lie through his teeth. Still, if I show up down there, he'll be wild. Yeah, but if he's sick and he needs help, isn't it worth the risk? Are you still angry with him for that stunt that he pulled at Ryan's baptism? Oh, no. This phony little romance was just a sign of how desperate he is. But when Jack's desperate, Ma, I can be so mean. If I walk into that, I'm leaving myself wide open. Darling. Loving somebody means you have to stay a bit vulnerable, take a few chances, even if you have been hurt. I mean, if you thought Jack needs you, and uh, you just didn't go to him for fear of his behavior, and it turns out that there really is something wrong, are you going to be able to forgive yourself? You're right. And you're wonderful. I hope you find all's well with him. Oh, I don't want him to be too well off. I hope he still looks as if he misses me. I was hoping you'd be feeling better this morning. Excuse me, Dr. Ryan. No change. His temperature? It's holding at 104, Dr. Coleridge. And his white count is still high. Pat, please don't torture yourself. There's nothing any of us can do at the moment. It's what I didn't do, isn't it? The single most important factor in meningitis is a quick diagnosis. The delay alone could kill him, not to mention the surgery. Didn't Roger say that the boroughs may have a beneficial effect, relieving the pressure? It's an equal chance it could cause complications. Oh, Pat, please, stop it. Look, I know it's tough, and I don't mean to minimize your feelings, but you're going to have to accept the simple fact that you made a mistake. Can Alicia accept that? Can Angel? It's still possible that Angel will recover. And if he doesn't, are you going to give up medicine? No, I... Uh, not voluntarily, anyway. I thought about it, but... But you know you're a fine doctor who's also human. That missed diagnosis could have been anyone's mistake, given the same circumstances. Yeah, only the circumstances were pretty much my fault, too. You are not responsible for the fact that this hospital is hurting for money or for the crazy demands that it's making on its medical staff. No, but I am responsible for the way I meet those demands. And others. Is it your fault that your wife doesn't understand what it means to be a doctor? Yes, it is, in a way. She's not going to learn what she doesn't want to learn, Pat. 
I'm sorry. No, I'm aware of her limitations. I should be by now. She just can't accept the fact that when I'm off duty, I have to sleep, period. I can't be her helpmate or her playmate or... Resident shrink? So what I really should have done was take a room here and sleep until I was able to take care of patients responsibly. Please, don't spend the rest of your time and energy kicking yourself. It's not over with Angel. Just has another doctor now. You know, Seneca didn't want to do that. I can't blame Alicia. for you. Hey. hey, you're better catch than I am. Well, I was that day anyway. Well, we know you weren't seeing too good that day. So, how are you feeling? Fine, terrific. 100%. Thanks to you. You're some doctor, you know? Well, I'm glad you think so. Fix me up real good. I mean, no headaches. I see fine. And I think mom's gonna be better than ever. Whoa. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll be going home pretty soon, huh? Well, no reason to keep you down. Good. I'll be coming back in a few years in a different way. I think a doctor's a neat thing to be. Catch. <laughs> mm. Pat, I really have to talk to him. You don't have to be rude to me. If you don't know where he is, I'll go and I'll ask someone else. Pat's here, Delia. He's gone to sign in and check on the condition of his patients overnight. What's wrong? Angel didn't die, did he? No. Thank God. Because if he did, Patty would be in an awful lot of trouble. You know where he is? I gotta speak to him right now. Oh, right now, huh? Right this minute. Delia wants Pat, so Pat must appear. Don't talk to me like this. This is between a husband and a wife. We have a couple of things that we have to straighten out. Here and now. Here and now, before he gets into more work. Well, he's already into it. Are you his personal bodyguard or something like that? Now, I'm his wife. And, and I'm I his friend and his colleague, and I cannot tell you how much I hate watching what you're doing to him. What I'm doing? Yes, you. You with your constant demands that saps every ounce of energy and strength he's got. If Pat's in trouble, and he might very well be whether that boy dies or not, it is not his fault, Delia. It is yours. That's crazy. You're crazy. You're mean and jealous. That, that's all it is. I have watched Pat here day after day, becoming more and more exhausted. He goes home for some desperately needed sleep after 36 hours of hard work. But do you let him have it? No. You want to play house. And if Delia wants to play, Patty has to play. Because if Patty doesn't play, Delia might get so upset that she'll crawl out on a window ledge or pop a handful of pills. You are the cruelest person I've ever met. The only reason I did that was because I was desperate and I was miserable. You don't know what it feels like. You don't know what it feels like not to have any love, not to have anyone Oh, go play your violin someplace else, Delia. You don't talk to me like this. Now, where is my husband? He's right where he's supposed to be. On duty, on this floor, treating his patients. He is a medical doctor, Delia. Do you have the slightest, the vaguest understanding of what that means? Yeah, that means someone who's allowed to push other people around. Just like you, I'm gonna go find them for myself. Wait a minute. I would like to make a simple appeal to you for Pat's sake. Do you think you could ever look at him and see that he is bone tired and that he might have some needs of his own? That's how much you know. Pat is the only person that I think about. That, as they say, is perfectly clear. But when are you gonna look at him without wondering what he can do for you? When are you gonna learn to walk by yourself, Delia, without Pat's holding your hand? Because he doesn't have the time. Pat's desperate, Delia, and he's trying to be everything you want, which is too much. And you are going to bring down his entire career unless you stop pulling him apart. I know you hate me, but I feel very sorry for you because you're sick with jealousy. You don't even know what you're talking about. This is libel. I could probably sue you for this. Well, why don't you call your former husband and find out? I'm going to see Pat whether you, you try it. Not. What? Why? I said try it. I'll have security on the phone before you're five feet down the hall. This is a hospital deal. You're not a second home for demented How wives. How dare you speak to me like this? It's not visiting hours, so unless you're planning to be admitted. 
And psychiatry's on the 10th floor. I suggest you leave. You're throwing me out of here? Yes, I am. Now go. Leave now, before I call the guard. You're going to be very sorry, Faye. Very sorry. No sugar, right? Thank you. Oh, no, no, don't get up on my account. Breakfast is going to be arriving shortly. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I was just going to uh, check out the refrigerator. Forget it. I did. Half a can of pork and beans and old lettuce. So I called down to Angelo's Bakery and ordered up some hot donuts. Well, how did you... How did I? Because you have it pasted on your refrigerator. All your emergency numbers. See, there's Angelo's Bakery. There is Zito's Deli, the liquor store, the Chinese carryout. I thought you liked to cook. I do. I just haven't bothered much since... Uh... Since Mary left. See? I knew it. You're the one who keeps bringing her up. I don't have to. She's in the air. Here, there, everywhere. Especially there. I'm sorry if uh, last night didn't meet with your approval. Oh, come on. Don't be silly. It was lovely. It was an artistic triumph. Is that the equivalent of a gold star? Oh, absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. We had a good time, didn't we? We like each other. Lord knows we have enough in common. So, what's the problem? You love your wife. You want to take a little advice, Jack, from a friend? I've already been given a lifetime supply. Don't let her go. At least think twice about it. I did. Mm -hmm. And I have to. I don't think you want fun and games with no strings anymore. I think you want marriage. Why is it everybody's always telling me what I want? Because it's as plain as the nose on your face, which isn't so easy for you to see. I didn't say I didn't love her, did I? I said I couldn't be what she wants. I want my old life back. I want a little bit of that psychic privacy that you were talking about. You practically guaranteed that I'd be myself again if I just let myself go, remember? Yeah. That was extremely arrogant of me. Anyway, a person can change your mind. Hmm? Obviously, I wasn't what the doctor ordered. Fine. You are fine. Jack, maybe you can't go back. Maybe you've crossed that line. Huh? Or oh, the invisible line, hmm? Uh, like being a drug addict or an alcoholic, hmm? Ooh. That's what I love about you, Finelli. You're so refreshingly negative. No. What I'm trying to say is that maybe once you've opened up like that, and had the kind of relationship that you and Mary obviously have had. Maybe it's possible that you can't crawl back inside yourself. And be safe. Maybe if you're in love like that, you can't be safe ever again. They tell me there are other compensations. I wouldn't know, having never let myself. In a way, I, I envy you. I, uh, I thought you liked the way things are. Your life. Your freedom. I do. I love it. And that's not to say there aren't alternatives for some people. What'd you say? I say... Mm -hmm. How about a walk on the dock? Okay. Sure.
Sure. Why not? I'd just like to take a hot bath first. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Towels are uh, somewhere on top. Donuts. What's the matter with cannoli? Hi. It's been a killer year for days of our lives, and now, never miss a moment as Days kicks off SoapNet's sizzling primetime schedule. Every weeknight at 7, only on SoapNet. Days at night, the new way to watch soaps.